A recent groundbreaking discovery has allowed astronomers to calculate both the mass and distance of a new rogue planet, a feat previously difficult to achieve. Let's start by understanding what these solitary wanderers of the cosmos are and why they pose such a challenge to observation. Rogue planets are celestial bodies that roam interstellar space, unbound by the gravitational pull of any host star. Detecting these lonely worlds is incredibly difficult because the traditional methods of planet hunting rely on the presence of a host star. The lack of a central star means we can't use the standard tricks of the trade for finding exoplanets. For instance, the transit method detects a planet by observing the periodic dimming of a star's light as the planet passes in front of it. Planets don't emit their own light like stars, making rogue planets effectively invisible to direct observation methods. The only way astronomers have been able to detect rogue planets is through a phenomenon called microlensing. Microlensing occurs when the gravity of a passing object, like a rogue planet, slightly bends and magnifies the light from a distant background star. While microlensing can suggest mass, without knowing the object's distance, astronomers face mass distance degeneracy. The light curve alone cannot confirm the mass. For this particular rogue planet, a lucky alignment of telescopes and perfect timing allowed scientists to overcome the mass distance degeneracy problem. The microlensing event was observed by multiple ground-based telescopes and the space-based telescope, Gaia. Gaia was in a perfect position, observing the event six times over 16 hours, starting near the peak magnification thanks to a rare geometry. Observations from two different points and a slight timing difference in the light signal allowed the team to calculate the microlensing parallax and determine the planet's distance. With the distance now known, they could accurately calculate the physical properties of this newly discovered rogue planet. The calculations revealed the planet had a mass of around 22% that of Jupiter, putting it just under the mass of Saturn. Furthermore, they determined the planet to be approximately 3,000 parsecs, or just under 10,000 light-years away from Earth. The mass of this new rogue planet provides clues about how it might have formed and its place in the broader distribution of free-floating objects. Previously identified rogue planets were mostly below the mass of Jupiter, suggesting they formed in a protoplanetary disk and were later ejected. The Einstein Desert is a gap in the radial mass distribution separating planets from brown dwarfs, which makes sense as massive planets are less likely to be ejected. This new study marks a significant milestone in our ability to precisely characterize these mysterious free-floating worlds, calculating both their mass and distance.